a brisk walk through the corridors of power. Kop Uzadema, shortly after meeting President Muhammad Buhari, meets with the press to tell them what transpired. Issues of insecurity, especially in Imo State, lurks as he tells more on what has been done. Imo is okay now. People can come around, do their businesses, and the normal life and uh, normal activities have resumed in Imo State. And uh, the security agencies are on top of uh, uh, the situation now. The Imo State helmsman takes a swipe against politicians, saying that they have been biased in taking action against insecurity across the country. That the cases of insecurity here and there in the country has not been helped by the posture of uh, opposition uh, uh, parties and uh, some aggrieved politicians. Reason being that at a time like this in Nigeria, anybody who his onions as a leader should be able to speak out. How many of them are speaking out? How many of them are condemning what is going on? Rather, what is the leaders fanning the ember of uh, insecurity, blaming only government? We must be tired of this blame thing by now, and then contribute our own quota towards ensuring that national security is not further threatened in the country. So it is not something for politics. It's something that if you are a former Senate president, and you are a former speaker, or a former deputy Senate president, or a former deputy speaker, and things like this are happening in the country, and you are not able to speak out, and we are not seeing you where you are engaged in a town hall meeting, addressing the young men and women in your area on the need for a united Nigeria. And this is a country that have uh, given you opportunity to serve at that level, one time or the other. Then it is either overtly or covertly, you have an answer, a question to answer. Speaking further, he says that sentiments must be detached from action. At this point, we are not dealing with only feelings alone. We must tie feelings to national interests. It's not about sentimental feelings. It's about knowing that this is federal government asset and you wake up willingly and deliberately go there to destroy it. What we are trying to destroy is the sovereignty of the country. At the end of it all, he's able to point out that two things matter. When you destroy government property, you face the music or you're kicked out. And face the consequences. Those are the two things.